Are you considering becoming a Sargati School Board member? Well, before you throw your hat into the ring, consider this advice from the members of the current Board of Education. A board member is someone who invests their time without any compensation to help the school district and the school community and the Sargati's community improve. A board member is patient, a board member is discreet, a board member is passionate, and um, a board member is really committed. How many hours would you say that you put into being a board member? Well, I'm, I'm the vice president, so I, I think I might put in a little more. I don't think I put in as many hours as Bob does. Um, a week, I, I would say that it's at least two or three hours a week. You choose the level of involvement that you want, and I've chosen to be fairly involved. At times I have to come in to meet with the superintendent to prepare agendas, or if there is a uh, special issue that has come up, it might be a personnel issue, it might be something like the COVID epidemic. Uh, there are unexpected things that uh, from time to time will take up more time and unexpected. What kind of person does it take to be a board member? I think you got to be open-minded. Um, I, I, I think a lot of times we wait for somebody to finish so we can say what we have prepared, but I, I think you need to be able to kind of digest what people are saying as they're saying it, and you have to be able to change your stance if you hear something that's more reasonable than what you you know, you know, bring. I would say basically um, the skill you need to have is to be able to listen and think and ask questions. New board members receive training, correct? Absolutely. Uh, there's mandatory training and then New York State School Boards Association offers more training than you can shake a stick at. So if there's particular areas that you want expertise in, you can get that training. You know, you're going to learn a lot about the budget and you're going to learn about the, uh, the rules of being a board member and what you can say and what you can't say. What would you say is the biggest misconception of a board member? Other than the fact that we get paid, um, <laughs> which is a huge misconception, um, I would say that, I don't know, um, is that you have a lot of power and that you can be a star. And it's that's not what it's about. It's about working with the, in our case, eight other people on the board and the administration and the governance team to make the things happen that we want to have happen. If things happen in my family and I can't get to all my readings ahead of time. I've noticed that there's times other board members are asking questions. I'm like, oh good, they got me this time. <laughs> and I'll cover them on another time when things are happening in their family. So one of the best things about being on a nine member board is that we're there for each other. Uh, is it fulfilling maybe? Uh, it's, it's rewarding. Uh, I, you know, I'm a very spiritual person, so I feel that uh, I believe in giving back to the community. My uh, children went through the Saugerties District. Um, it's a good place to live. I know a lot of people here. So I was blessed with some expertise in education. So this is my way to help uh, give back to the community. I've always been committed to public education and to doing what I can to foster learning and development. And I felt like being on the board, I would be able to help do that for the system because I know how important it is to have the system function. I think initially it was frustrating because you were learning the ropes and you really didn't know the rules. But I think once you got a grasp of what change you could do and what change you could bring and how you can bring people together, I, I think that's the satisfying part. Every board member is interested in the education of every individual child in the district. And I think that has been the commonality for all of us to know that um, when we get to that graduation and we get to see the board and the superintendent um, bestow that graduation diploma, that each and every child's journey to get to that stage is different and none of them are the same. And we as a district have been able to help them, whatever it took, to get to that point and to move on to the next phase of, of their life.